Yo, JD here. And as you can see, we are back on F122. And in today's video, we arrive at BRS round six, which is at Monaco. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting one. Currently, see by a title isn't the most smoothest of races and typically Monaco in the past has been a track that I've actually performed quite well on because it isn't always about raw pace it's about being as consistent and clean as possible and usually those are the two things I can get right most of the time and today FRA Elite wasn't racing because he was actually ill so that has probably opened up the best opportunity to win a race this season so coming into this so far I've raced this season on this game I have only really prepared on race day itself so didn't spend that much time practicing and preparing for this and if you want my honest answer to that, it's because I've just been quite, really quite demotivated on the oh, game recently. I've discussed it in my other videos about the patches and the handling and without boring you to death, I just haven't really been a fan of how the game has developed and how it feels right now. Hence why I've tried other games such as Assetto Corsa, soon we'll be playing iRacing much, much more as well and yeah, I just haven't really had that motivation to really practice at all for the game itself and I think I definitely need to change that in the future. In previous league racing on other games I always prepared at least two days before just getting a good setup, feeling like I was in a good rhythm. That's something I definitely need to start doing again and some of my performances have been good but I know I could be performing much much better and that's definitely something I want to be doing because I think when I put more time into the game and prepare myself a bit better I'm just going to feel a lot more relaxed a lot more confident with my driving itself and hopefully that will start to translate into some more consistent results but you can see so far on this lap it's actually going very very well doing a really good first sector now coming out of the tunnel into the chicane and yeah invalidation and gained quite a bit of time because of that as well probably a good tenth and a half and that was a great shame because this was actually looking to be quite a good lap at this point and Monaco grid position really is everything and especially in these cars and the nature of them it's very difficult probably even more difficult than it has ever been to overtake around the street track like this and you can just see by my reaction and you'll be able to see by my reaction during this race itself I just wasn't in the mood and just wasn't really really hyped up for this at all and it saddens me to say that because I absolutely love racing league racing has been part of my life for the last 10 years and to feel like this in this moment whilst I was doing this race it's not something that really happens too often and what you're about to see here now is kind of a reflection of that of the decision we make because we decide to actually go on the soft tires for the start and I hadn't even tested the soft tires in the practice so I had no idea how long they went on for but I just thought you know why not FRA Elite is not here we're quite comfortably second in this championship and why not just do something different because surely there's a very high chance of a safety car coming out around here why not go on the softs and try and get the track position so that was the thinking at the time itself so as we're back at the grid we've got two lights three lights four lights five lights absolutely crucial that we get a good start and we do obviously get a very good start on this softer tire but just don't have the room to get into the lead of this race of WR Smokey and you're going to be seeing the first few laps on board here where you know I need to get past him as soon as possible if I want to make 
anything in this race work and yeah looking back at this it was just like I was saying at the beginning of this video I just wasn't really that motivated and I just didn't really care <laughs> that much to be honest and that sounds very weird for me to say but yeah I just I haven't been excited really playing this game at a competitive level so much recently I've still been doing my open lobbies all the time which I have fun doing but in terms of grinding it out and pushing the limits of the game, I just haven't been a fan of how it's been feeling, especially with the traction. That's something I've actually had a really tough time with. And since this video, we have Miami tomorrow. I have been playing the game a lot more and done a lot more preparation for that. And um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I've just been having a really hard time just getting the consistency on the traction itself. And Hopefully my hype will come back a little bit, but sometimes when you have a low It does bring a new high So that's what I'm hoping for for the future, but yeah, I think this decision to go on the softs was really Yeah, I could have gone on the mediums and no would have probably still been in third place after the start But I just thought you know what there's let's just do something different here and you can see we've got a virtual safety car But I can tell you now there's actually a glitch on this track where the full safety car doesn't actually come out and I wasn't aware of that <laughs> coming into this race because then I definitely would not have been uh, choosing the softs and you can see we're just doing our best to maintain the pace but the softs are already starting to fall away and it became quite quickly clear to me that you know this strategy really isn't working at all and I was thinking of maybe going to a two-stop strategy but I was just trying to hold out at this point to see if a full safety car would actually uh, come out but you can see we're losing time here and we're actually out of the DRS so now going deep into this corner and you can hear me say that the softs are going off and you know just wasn't really getting into rhythm around this track which I have done in the past and 12-6 to Smokey, we're doing a 13-0 and each up after this, the gap between the ties was starting to become greater and greater, the softs were degrading very quickly and I was starting to develop a bit of a, well not really a cue because it's only really Mark who's close to me but see Mark is all over me, 2.7 seconds away from Smokey now and FRA Kai and Dizzy are starting to close in, you can see how much they've actually close in here so my tyres are getting almost towards 60% the gap is 5 seconds to Smokey and yeah I think it's really going to be the time now that I'm going to have to be coming in to get rid of these soft tyres and coming into here I was thinking should I go mediums or hards but we also just make another wrong decision I think like looking back it's easier said than done but we decided to go on the hard tie just to see if we could make it to the end of the race so because since there hasn't really been any safety cars in the first 10 laps and there's been at least three or four people retiring i thought maybe the likelihood might not be as high as i thought so we're just gonna try and come out in clear air and you can see we've got a bit of a clean track up ahead of us so i thought okay let's just try and maximize this as much as we can but the tire warm-up on the on the hard tyres just takes so so long and as you can see we haven't even really gained any time on Mr Speedy at all and FRA Kai as we're coming out of the pits now he was over two seconds behind us but he's actually done the overcut on us so and this is the only opportunity we're going to have to go down the inside and if we don't overtake him here now as his tyres are heating up then you could be two seconds of that slower than someone around here and it's just going to be impossible to overtake and we've been overcutted now by Kai and I at the time I didn't know what happened but obviously looking back at it here now we're just our tyres just took so long to warm up and he was on the medium tyres as well which are still rare to be fresh he could have gone on quite a bit longer into the race of those tyres and yeah we're just doing everything we can here but the cars are too wide around this circuit. There's just nothing you could do. And our best opportunity to overtake Kai me, has now gone. You can see, how did he get in front of me? But 
No, we just didn't have a good outlap and it just took so long to heat up the tyres. But now we've actually caught up to Mr. Speedy who has still stayed out on these medium tyres. So let's see how easy it is going to be to overtake here because we were lapping uh, quite a bit quicker than him. So we'll be able to see from Kai if the overtake is fairly simple or not. And Kai through to here gets a really good run. He's got the DRS and he's got overtaken going into turn one. Does it quite comfortably. Now let's see what we can do coming through into here. And you can see by the ERS as well, it's really, really difficult to recoup the battery around this circuit. Since you are running, pretty much almost everyone is running 50 50 wings. So, highest amount of downforce, but it makes it very, very tough for you to re harvest the battery. And yeah, you just have to be so careful in the way you use it and all this is doing now is just costing me time because people like Mark Sosa who is behind me will be going quicker than this guy Mr. Speedy right now and I uh, know if FRA Kai's going to overcut me then I was very certain that Mark would be doing the same as well and you can see Mark has already pulled away one second from the Ferrari and yeah we're just stuck there's just nothing that we could do at the moment and honestly we just didn't have the pace in the race we just yeah just didn't have the pace at all and yeah I just needed to prepare much much more for this track itself and because Monaco it's just a track where you just need to get into a rhythm you need to push the boundaries and limits otherwise if you're too cautious that's when you make mistakes that's when you're not carrying the minimum speed and you are going to get in a little bit of trouble. So you can see we're almost tapping into the back of here now. So we're getting a bit frustrated. FRA Kai has pulled away two seconds. So we're really, really desperate to get past that. Figure they're going on the inside here, but just about backed out of it. And, you know, Mr. Speedy, he doesn't need to let me pass through here at all. Especially if there's a safety car that comes out. He's perfectly entitled to do what he's doing. He hasn't pitted yet. And, yeah. It's uh, even if you're well over a second lap quicker than someone, it's going to be so hard. And since the corners are so tight, the car in front of you is always going to get slightly earlier on the power. But now we're going to go side by side. It looks like he doesn't go fight this that much. So we're going to go around the outside going into the chicane, but we're still going side by side into here. I thought he was going to concede here, but going side by side in the swimming pool section once again. Go around the outside here. He's still going down the inside, still down the inside, really with his left, right, side and side going to his right hander. Eventually, he concedes. And, yeah, that was probably entertaining uh, for people watching. But at the time, it was just costing me so much time. And look how much time it's cost me. It's cost me two seconds on this app. Mark Soto is coming out the pit. Oh and let's see how Mark, far he's come out. He's and he's come out five seconds ahead. Oh. So, yeah, this strategy just has over. not worked at all. And... I thought it might be a bit simpler to overtake people, but clearly not. But then FRA Kai has overtaken Mark because his tyres took so long to heat up. But now I think FRA Kai has suffered quite a bit of wing damage. So we managed to actually bring ourselves back into the fight as FRA Kai makes a big mistake, which now allows Mark to go through. And I believe he has quite a lot of wing damage, which I think we will be asking Jeff I think they both got damage. As I'm just saying here now, Pretty because sure he was quite a way ahead of me, but now yeah, we've closed in so much and going through into here, I think we've got to ask our engineer right here now. Okay, the gap is less than a second. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Their tyres are nine laps old. The car ahead has damaged the front wing, but it seems fairly minor. So yeah, the car ahead of me does have wing damage and I know in the recent patch that they increase the how much it affects the car from a small bit of wing damage or minor bit of wing damage so yeah that's going to be a uh, big big thing as we're now skipping on to well actually I think we missed the overtaking the FRA car I think he just decided to uh, let me go in the end so we actually have missed that but now we're going on to that 26 and Mark Sosa actually has a three second 
time penalty as well. So throughout the rest of this race, we were just doing our best to try and keep as close as we could to him. And because his tyres are quite a bit fresher than ours. So we're just doing absolutely everything we can. But we've got Joe Wilson behind who is on much, much fresher tyres than us. So coming through into Taiwan, coming out of the exit here. Oh, man. We've just completely lost the car and a little bit too greedy on the traction from looking back at my throttle input. But we had to push it to try and keep within the three seconds of Mark Sosa because that would have been a net P2 and that would have been big points for the championship so just not been a good day <laughs> at Monaco here it's a track that is very unforgiving and yeah it's um yeah our strategy was just a bit reckless to be honest we didn't need to do that could have just gone on the mediums or maybe even the hards and just gone long into the race to see what we could do but yeah, it's a sport. We just do something different and, yeah, just a lesson for the future. It's, as I said, just not feeling that motivated on the game. I haven't really been really motivated to practice or anything at all. And, yeah, it's something I definitely need to prepare a little bit more for uh, for future races. Because when I feel more prepared, I usually do better. And then I usually have a lot more fun <laughs> when I'm playing the game. Um, itself but you can see we're on the soft tires here and i think we're just going to stay on board because this is the fastest lap that i did in the race so just try and go for fastest lap and you will be able to see how much time uh, we are going to be closing in on the guys up ahead of me but yeah recently i've just been playing quite a bit of a set of Corsa. i just really do love the force feedback model on that game and probably looking into maybe doing some league racing on that game a lot of people have suggested uh, quite a few good ones to look at so that's definitely something that i'm doing but yeah i just when this game first came out i really really enjoyed it and i don't know if that's because it's just a new formula one game itself and it's just a different feeling so maybe a bit of placebo but i just really enjoyed how the handling was and although the traction is much more difficult it was more consistent in my opinion and you had a better feeling of the car you felt a little bit more connected to the car in my opinion but now i just feel with this traction and the gear ratios and how you have to use the really really high gears as well it's something that's going to take me a little while to get used to and you can see we set the fastest up here but it's not even that much faster than what smokey did on medium so we just didn't really have the pace I'm here today. But you can see coming into this last lap now, Stefan Arco beats that. So we don't even get the point for the fastest lap as well to put the cherry on the cake. But we are going to get within three seconds of our teammates. So we should be home We're finishing in P8. But yeah, definitely a race to forget. That is for sure. But yeah. I know what I need to do for future races. Definitely need to make some improvements in my driving and definitely go try and prepare in the same way I have four leagues in the past. And we've got Miami next, which is a track I do enjoy driving. So hopefully that will be going a bit better. So yeah, I'll be streaming that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. UK time. So hopefully you will join me for that and yeah thank you so much for support on the channel i really hope you enjoyed the grand prix this weekend and i'll catch you very very soon peace